Welcome back to Tom's Garage. Uh, today, today we are going to be working on, y'all probably remember this from about a week or so ago, Papal Predator 4000 Genie Raider. I did a video on this not long ago. Free generator. Got it running, got it working. And somebody had told me, I'm not a, I'm not a generator guy, but somebody brought it to my attention that when, in that video I did on this generator, I thought I had it working good, but I only had like 113 or so volts out of the outlets. Somebody said, hi, hey, you need to adjust your ACR you just installed. Well, I had no idea you can adjust those things. Because if I use it like that and plug a few things into it, the voltage is just gonna drop. And it's not good for the appliances you got plugged in. So what I'm gonna do is adjust the ACR to where we have at least 120 volts. 120. And I will show you how I am going to do that. Hang with. Let's, let's do it, let's do it. Alrighty, let me fire this thing up and I will show you what it's doing. Oh boy, I have thrown my back out. All right, let's turn it on, crank it up. get 120 volts out of this bad boy all all four of the outlets right there are 120 so what we're gonna do is can y'all see that I'll put the old flashlight on it boom 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 can you see it gooder all right we're gonna pull this cover off pull that pull that cover off pull that cover off and there's the voltage regulator we just installed. So we'll pull it off. I'm not gonna unplug it or nothing. I'm just gonna pull it loose so I can get behind it. Right there, that little bitty screw. What I'll do is take my little bitty screwdriver, put it on there like that, and I'll just turn it clockwise while I monitor the voltmeter, we're gonna see if we can get something out of it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, let me crank it back up. Crank it back up. Flatliner B. Alrighty, now we'll just put it back together. Make sure you don't touch nothing in there while this thing is running. It will light your fire. So do as I say, don't do as I do. There'd probably be a good idea not to even do what I say either. Who am I to tell you what to do? Don't you love working on stuff like this when it's cold? Ooh, I can't hardly move. All right, make sure everything's tucked back in, out of the way. Oh, out of the back. Oh. 
And make sure you don't put this upside down like I mentioned before, it goes like that. Any water debris will just kind of run off of it. After this, what I'm gonna do is winterize this thing because it's going straight to the shed next to the other generator. And I don't know if it's gonna be a, a month from now when I need it or it's gonna be five years from now when I need it. So what I'm gonna do, so what I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do is try to stand up straight. Oh, my back. Whew. Ooh, my back is thrown completely out. Hmm. Uh. Don't do tree work if you ain't a professional. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna drain all the fuel out of this thing. Drain all the fuel out of it. I'm gonna clean the carburetor. Completely, completely drain the tank. Blow it out with the air hose, make sure it's dry. Drain the carburetor. I'm gonna take the drain. Let me show you. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take that. Not the little bolt that holds the bowl on, but the one next to it. That's just a drain. I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna shoot carburetor cleaner way up in it real good. And I'm gonna stick the air hose, just barely a little puff of air. Try to dry it out, dry the tank. That way it can set for as long as you want it to. And all you have to do is put fuel in it and go. It'll be just like it was when you got it off the shelf at the store. Oil and gas. I'm not draining the oil though, the oil's gonna be fine. So let's do that. Let's do that. So the first thing I'll do, set the light up, get this, get the fuel cap off of it. Get this little, get this little screen out of it. Right now it's just got a little bitty bit of gas in it when I got it running. It's been sitting there for about two weeks. Two weeks. I'm gonna put this block under the back of the generator so it, it kind of tilts the whole machine forward towards this petcock right here. That way I know it's, if I can, if I can pick it up, get this under there. There we go. Now this thing has got a good tilt to it. It's gonna be going around. Let me grab a pair of pliers and the drain pan. A little piece of fuel line. A little piece of fuel line to help guide the fuel. With the pet cock turned off, I'm gonna take this fuel line off. And give it a little twisty twisty. See if we can pull that off now. Nope, let me grab a little screwdriver. Pal, one of my favorite craftsman screwdrivers. You know who you are, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Try to get this fuel line off without hurting it. There we go. We got it. We got it. Get that out of the way. Stick this piece of fuel line on there. And we will just let it. And we'll just let it drain. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me. That's going to have a little drip to it. Let me grab a. Grab a smaller piece of fuel line, one that fits a little gooder. Fits a little gooder. This fuel line here is so much bigger. So much bigger. We'll squeeze this on there. I don't want to make a mess. Okay. Turn that down. Right about there. Oh yeah, now I have to go to the bathroom. Can't be listening to that, I'm trying to make a video. Okay. Now what we'll do, let's see, grab my little 10 millimeter. Grab a 10 millimeter. Get some carburetor cleaner.
Tell you what, let me let me spin this bad boy around so I can get to that carburetor back there a little better. Okay. I can see that a whole lot better now. Put the drain pan back under there. Let it, let it be draining. And I'll take that right there. That little drain. Put that little pan. The drain plug out. Ooh. All right. All righty. All right, Roy. Here's that. Now, what I'll do is take my carburetor cleaner and squirt it all up in there real good. Very gently, very gently, just blow a little air up in there. Very, very gently. And then we'll put the little drain plug back in there. Give it a little oomph. All right, we'll come back around here while this is draining. I'm gonna hit pause because I know y'all don't want to sit here for 20 minutes watching this thing drain, so hang loose. Okay, what I'm gonna do is grab a rag, couple of them. I'm gonna take my air wand, hose, blow gun. I'm gonna stick it right in the fuel cap. Right in the filler hole. See how she's done. So I'm gonna take and put a little air in it. And that'll get out any residual. Now I'm gonna take this block out from under it back here. Get nice and level. Put a little extra, a little puff of air in it. Now I'm just going to take and just blow the heck out of it. Get it nice and dry. Nice and dry. And that's what we're going to do. Uh oh, I lost my little screen. Where did it go? It fell off when I put that block under it a while ago. It did, it went somewhere, which I don't care. I'm not gonna use that screen anyway. All right. Now we'll take this piece of hose back off. Put this little fuel line back on. Grab the pliers and put the clamp back on it. All right. All righty. She is winterized and she can sit in that shed for years to come. And I know that it ain't gonna have no gas going bad in it and ruining the carburetor. So everything's completely dry, man. That is the proper way, I think, to store a piece of equipment. There's that little screen I couldn't find a second ago. Here, I'll put that back in there. The engineers that built this wouldn't have Put that in there if I didn't need to. Put it right back in there. Yeah, and that is how I like to winterize or store equipment, whether it's a weedy eater, blower, lawnmower, whatever. If it's a gasoline engine, you need to drain it, dry it. It should be good to go when you're ready for it, or like in the case of a generator, and in an emergency, you'll you'll need to, you know, two o'clock in the morning when it's 13 degrees, you don't want to be out there fumbling around trying to get something crunk. You just want to pour gas in it and crank it up and get back in the house. 
Well, thanks for watching this little video. I just wanted to make sure this generator was ready to go for me. Boys and girls, thanks for watching. I will catch y'all on the next one. And remember DLT Lawn Care, LLC. On Friday nights during the winter time, we like to have a little fun. About 8 o'clock, I guess, sometimes. 8 o'clock, Friday night. Be there. Love you guys, and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one. See ya.